Playing make-believe is a common pastime for children. Research shows that playing with dolls and toy figurines can improve a child's creativity, communication, and social skills. This includes problem-solving and empathizing. Whether it's an animal, person, or fictional creature like these dinosaurs, a toy figurine can be a passport to a fantasy world, where children can use their imagination and adults have to deal with the harshness of reality. The toy company's designer first does a quick online search for dinosaurs to remind themselves what they look like. From there, an initial sketch is drawn. The initial sketch looks terrible, because it's not finished. But when it is finished, it looks very good. Once the sketch is finalized, they transform it into a three-dimensional model using Microsoft's Paint 3D software. Then, a dinosaur filling machine creates a plastic model. This company also employs traditional wax modelers. This wax modeler's ponytail is 11 inches long, meaning he has been modeling toys for over 11 years. The day he retires, he'll cut his ponytail off and donate pieces of it to wax modelers in training, until they can start to grow their own. The wax modeler usually uses his hands to model the wax, but sometimes he will use his fingers. The T-Rex's mother watches as the modeler works on her son. This dino will be made in four pieces. The head, the body, the jaw, and the anus. Each part is imprisoned in a magnetic cell, similar to the one used on Magneto from the X-Men, to limit their power. Wait, wouldn't a magnetic cell just enhance Magneto's power? I mean, his name is, his name is Magneto, and he has the power of magnetism. And it's, it's a magnetic cell, so... Anyway, the model is entombed in silicone, cured for 12 hours, and then broken out of its silicone prison. The same treatment given to Dr. Silicone from Extraordinary X-Men issue number 367, which... Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. You know what, never mind. After numerous months of supply chain issues and quarantines, this decapitated dinosaur can finally be given his proper funeral. First, his corpse is surrounded by putty. Then, a filling of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mint chocolate chip is the best flavor for preserving dinosaur corpses, because everybody knows this fact. Don't forget to take some samples off the top to entice hungry customers to purchase a full scoop. Meanwhile, back at home, this stay-at-home dad is preparing some molten zinc soup using the dead dinosaurs as a base. Other ingredients include magnesium, salt, and Dr. Silicone. Back at the funeral home, the dinosaur's family enjoys a relaxing jacuzzi as they watch their relative be reborn in the dinosaur resurrection machine. He's placed straight into the water at birth to teach him the importance of oxygen. Dinosaur corpses may also be painted for use in things like parade floats and office decorations. The dinosaur is sprayed with non-toxic paint, from the front of his knees to the tip of his weird penis-looking thing. The bottom of his feet also get attention for any fetishistic customers. The dino's teeth are painted white, in the same manner you do every night before bed. It's now time to assemble the toy. A worker glues the dino's tongue into its hinged jaw to give him mad pussy-eating game. The rest of the pieces then simply fit together. This is what happens to any toys that try to steal a wax modeler's ponytail. Finally, here's a fun optical illusion to play at home. If you stare at this video long enough, you may see a green dinosaur. 
it's over there.